Hello, grade 7. I hope you are doing well. In today's session, we are going to solve extra exercises regarding chapter 3, which is respiration. Exercise number 1 is divided into two parts. Please, I want you to pause this video and try to do them. Part 1. Indicate the true statements and correct the false ones. Number 1. The trachea, which is also known as the windpipe, branches into two bronchi. This is true. Number 2. Each bronchus, bronchus is the singular form of bronchi, ends up in alveoli. False. Each bronchiole ends up in alveoli. Number 3. Carbon dioxide passes from the alveoli to the blood. Of course not. Oxygen passes from the alveoli to the blood, while carbon dioxide passes in the opposite direction. Part 2. Complete the following sentences with a suitable word. Number 1. In insects, air enters the body through openings called spiracles or orifice. Spiracle is the orifice opening visible on the body of insects. Number two, in grasshoppers, it is a type of an insect, gas exchange occurs in the tracheoles. Number three, breathing in is also called inhalation. What do we call the breathing out? Breathing out is called exhalation. Again, pause this video and try to do this exercise. Tamara, a grade 7 student, wanted to verify the presence of gas exchange in living things. What do we mean by gas exchange? Yes, the absorption of oxygen and the release of carbon dioxide. So, to do so, she placed a salmon fish in a container having water and recorded the amount of oxygen as a function of time. She also did a control experiment, experiment without salmon fish. The recorded results are shown in the opposite document. Number 1. By referring to the graph, complete the following table. Let's see the table. We have time in minutes, quantity of oxygen in the experiment without salmon, and the quantity of oxygen in the experiment with salmon. In this question, we are converting the graph into a table. So let's start with time. The time on the graph is on the x-axis. So let's see. The two curves start at time 0, then at time 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and finally time 6. So we write these in the table. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And now we pick out the quantity of oxygen in the experiment without salmon at each time interval. For example, at time 0, see the graph. The quantity of oxygen in the experiment without salmon is 7, right? 7. At time 1, it remains the same, so write 7. At time 2, 7. 3, 7. Time 4, 7. Time 5, 7. Time 6, 7. Let's now... See the curve that represents the quantity of oxygen in the experiment with salmon. At time 0, as you can see that the point is at 7, so write 7. What happens as the time increases to 1? We notice that the point is at 6.9, so write 6.9 and continue the table. Number 2. Name the tool or equipment that measures the amount of oxygen in water. The tool that measures the amount of oxygen in water is the oximeter. Oxy means oxygen. So you can review activity one. Number three, formulate the hypothesis tested in this experiment. What are we trying to prove in this experiment? 
that the fish is absorbing oxygen because as you can see that uh, in the experiment with salmon the quantity of oxygen decreases while it remains the same in the experiment with salmon this means that the salmon is absorbing oxygen so hypothesis two points maybe the fish is absorbing oxygen from water number four analyze the results shown in the graph what do you conclude the two curves start at time zero so at time zero minute the quantity of oxygen in water is 7 ml in both experiments experiment with salmon and experiment without salmon as the time increases to six minutes the quantity of oxygen remains the same in the experiment without salmon 7 ml while it decreases to 6.4 ml in the experiment with salmon do not forget the units and the values what do you conclude we conclude that the fish is absorbing oxygen from water so in this conclusion we have verified the hypothesis tamara also suggested to perform the lime water test do you remember what is the lime water it is a chemical used in the lab to test the presence of carbon dioxide in the experiment without salmon, the lime water remains clear due to the absence of carbon dioxide. However, in the experiment with salmon, the lime water turns turbid, justified, because the salmon releases carbon dioxide that reacts with the lime water. Today's session is finished. Thank you.